Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Rojo, a Spanish horror experience, which is, like the title says, a Spanish horror game. Your friend has been missing for days. The only clue she has left you is a note in her room with an address. Hmm. Uh, interesting thing about the description of the game. It mentions uh, the Franco regime. Now, I'm not going to go into history because this is a horror playthrough, uh, but I'm curious how they're going to integrate that into this. Nice bucket. Anyone home? Seriously, anyone home? Oh, someone hit. Hello? <laughs> but who was the door? Hold up, is this a note I can read? Mm, kinda. Since I have started my crusade, I have progressed a lot. I no longer feel sorry, not afraid. At last I've understood that the only way to return Spain to its greatness is by understanding the rotten interior of the blasphemous who destroy it. Blasphemers, rather. Hmm. Looks like someone's nostalgic for a certain era. Looks like there's a lot of blood here. I mean, it's pretty active. There's food being used and stuff. Um, a key. Don't mind if I do. October 24th. Can't be open from this side. Busy. Don't no, buy insecticide, rather. Find something that cleans blood stains. <laughs> Scissors, knife, towels, bleach, eggs. Yeah, that's... When you're buying everything else to clean the bloodstains, you gotta make sure you're ready to get your eggs. Can't forget that. You need your protein. Okay, here's a bathroom. Let's see. These... Ah. It's one of those type of flashlights. Here we go. So, these blasphemers scream like pigs. I have to prepare a more discreet place for my investigations. Miss Generalissimo, I wish you were here to see it. I think that's what the word is. Uh, you would be proud. Can't open this door. He can't open that door ever. Hmm. Crutch. Dead bugs. Jars for some reason. Lately I feel different, stronger, wiser. More convinced than ever of my crusade. I no longer need those devil pills. I feel like the person in this house might be a older man, maybe from the uh, early 1900s, as far as age. As in, like, they lift this air. Because you see a cane over there, too, right? And, like, all the old photos, the pills, everything like that. It would explain the nostalgia, if you would use that word. Did I hear something? Was that... There? 
I need to recharge my flashlight. It's kind of dark in here. I'm a little concerned, but we're good. Um, cigarettes, glasses, key. Here we go. Read clue. Jesus keeps the key of hope. The heart of Jesus belongs to God, and only if we are able to see it, we will be able to reach the truth. Okay. I, I kind of have an idea what it's trying to guide me towards. Yeah, oxygen tank. Uh, check your pulse. There's actually... A they actually, like, laid things out intelligently. That's usually pretty rare in indie horror games. Usually just throw some random assets here and there. But I'm getting, like, a lot of context clues from uh, the the game. Still trying to determine if you were there already. Okay. Like, you see, like, all the pills, all the signs. Like, this is, like, an older person living here. Useless! Uh, let's look over here. Call the police. I don't feel like that's gonna work. But we look around for a sentiment, call the police. More blood. The furniture's a little curious, especially since the blood is over here. Uh, playing cards. Pull up, gotta recharge my flashlight. You feel like this thing's got better battery. <laughs> Genlisimo, those day, those dogs, almost a day, are going to get you out of the valley. They do not know what they do. They are going to unleash hell on earth. And that hell, it will be me. Yes, that does open from this side. There's the door to the kitchen. Hmm. Weird. This is this is a waste of some. Well, these steaks are raw. They ain't even cooked. I mean, maybe you're like maybe you like that. I don't know. It seems that the brain is the key of the abnormal behavior of the enemies of the Favaland. The other organs do not seem to be related to the deviation they suffered from the path of God. It will be necessary to take advantage. Have you? Are you dissecting someone? Okay, so, yeah, you see the blood stain kind of cuts through here. Uh... Uh, okay. Here we go. Got the ever key. Let's get out of here. Oh, flashlight broke again. Hmm. Alright, let's call up police now. Hello, police. I'm stuck in a horror game. And I'm assuming it's not going to work either way. Thank you. I heard something. I think this is a game that's definitely going to relate. I know, I know, I kind of know the history myself of this thing, but to, uh, you know, people who know Spanish history, this is going to be a horror game for them. <laughs> no, 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 don't, re don't remind me of that. All right. Uh... Ignorant minds like an empty bookshelf. That's what separates a sheep from my vision. My crusade for the redemption of Spain. Well, empty bookshelf. I mean, that's the obvious thing. Uh... I was hoping the piano was gonna like, you know, the cliche. Along the secret door, play the right song. 
You ever the Bimby bookshelf? I pointed this out to you. I was like, hmm. Well, hello there. Hmm. Wait, what? You did not look like an old man. Not sure if I'm like a... What I'm gonna see here. Oh, there's nothing. Oh, wait, the stakes. Oh, no. Uh, so you have been dissecting someone. I see. They're here. Whatever they are. They've also been working on their gains. My god. Brains, pills, chains. Why do like, why do like slasher killers always have like chains hanging from the ceiling? They all shop at the same decorating store. You have a bunker in your house. Just four notes of the glorious melody of the Favalano, enough to unlock the truth. That's a very conveniently timed flashlight going out. Hmm. Axe. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I think that unlocked the secret room over there. You know, I'm not really sure why we're continuing to pursue this. We should have just left. Just... Well, look, hold up. I'm curious. Is the door actually locked? Or is it just we're just deciding to investigate and stay? Let me see something here. Okay, yeah, we're locked in. Okay. Just just have to make sure. Okay. What is the truth? That yeah, we're doomed? No, uh, yep. What? What are you even... Are you powered by... That's cut, cut. Oh, table, 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 table. No, not flashlight. Not right now. We made it. Oof. I'm going down the hallway. Oh, no! Ah! So, that's it for Rojo. So... Looks like it looks like there's no uh, avoiding a bad ending. It's uh it's one of those one of those endings, one of those games. Um one of the educational reasons why whenever someone says like I'm here at this place that's scary and spooky and you haven't heard from me in like a few days, don't go. <laughs> don't go. You're just going to die too. Uh now I would say it's it's probably basically a um the game is essentially, it's essentially a standard kind of indie horror game. I did point out, like I said, there is a lot of detail in the way they laid out the level, which is, it's it's just a, it's a small thing. It, it's very rare. You, you don't see too many indie games. Uh, even some larger play games do that. So they paid a little attention to that. Um, they made it look like a kind of authentic, I guess you'd say apartment for how this should be laid out to tell the story. It's a little subtle. I was a little bit more disappointed in the transition to the horror part at the end. Because uh, I don't really get why the, the supposed old man is now a, a buff, shadowy thing. Unless their hate 
it's like their hate has transcended life itself and it's become its own entity, which I, I actually could buy it. That's the explanation and that's what happened. But it felt like the transition was pretty quick and then it was like over, which is a little too bad. Because I, I like the atmosphere we we're building up to as far as like it's a little like mixture of history and everything. But yeah, anyway. So thank you all for watching me play Rohal. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.